Greeting and welcome to the spring semester finale of the Nightly News, brought to you by St. Rose Television at the College of St. Rose. Today is May 4th, 2020. I'm David Meister. And I'm Leanne DiMartino. Let's get into this week's news. This week we will be talking about the results of SRTV's film festival and honoring the class of 2020. Last night, St. Rose Television held its second annual film festival. The event was live streamed on our YouTube channel, with the results being announced by one of our judges, Paul Conti, on Facebook Live. This year's winner was Only in the Mind by Joyce Hills. In second place was The Sentence by Christopher Bishop. And in third was The Mailbox by Kevin O'Brien. New to this year's festival was Audience Choice Awards for Best Film and also Best Actor slash Actress. Taking home Best Film was also Only in the Mind, while Best Actress went to Eileen Burke for a role in the Haunted Hearst promo. Now let's go to SRTV's meteorologist, Chris Weiss, to tell us what to expect for weather for the rest of the week. Here's to you, Chris. All right, so let's get into the weather for this week. So we aren't off to the best start. We are experiencing showers. However, tomorrow they are expected to clear up as we get partially sunny weather and the temperatures are going to be on a steady rise. That weather will continue into Wednesday as well. But unfortunately, on Thursday, we are expecting the showers to return. The temperatures are going to remain in the 60s before they hit a drop on Friday and they descend into the high 40s on Saturday as the showers continue. Thankfully on Sunday we will get a nice return as temperatures go back up to the low to mid 50s and partially sunny weather returns, and that's your weather for the week. Now before we get into our tradition of senior send-offs for the end of the semester, I just wanted to take this moment to congratulate all of my fellow members of the class of 2020. This isn't how we wanted our collegiate cruise to end by a long shot, but let's look at the bright side. We made it! We're going to get that degree and hopefully we'll have a commencement in September depending on how things play out. But most of all, we made it out healthy. COVID-19 presented many challenges to all of us as we migrated to this virtual environment, but we rose to the occasion and crossed the finish line. And with that, let's recognize the seven graduating members of St. Rose Television. To start off with, I'd like to say good luck to Kyle Humphrey. He's been a very active member of SRTV since the day he's joined. He's always willing to step up and help out any way he can. Besides being our go-to graphics person, Kyle also won the Undergraduate Research Symposium. I know you'll do great in anything you put your mind to and go after in the future. So good luck, Kyle. Chris Nichols has been our treasurer for just about a year now and has made many events at St. Rose Television possible through his awesome presence. Chris has completed two exciting internships at Disability Rights New York and WMHT where he excelled professionally and creatively. Chris also served as assistant equipment manager in fall 2019 and senior equipment manager in spring 2020 in the campus TV studio. At St. Rose Television, he has hosted his own series titled Take One with Chris Nichols, as well as directed SRTV's last live show with the campus comedy club Creative Apes, and served as director of photography for SRTV's three-episode sitcom Last Ditch. Always coming in clutch and brightening everyone's day, Chris Nichols has been invaluable to the St. Rose community and a true powerhouse. Chris, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Mike Tragresser and I actually originally worked for the same summer camp the year before we started at St. Rose, so I've known Mike for a while now. But when it comes to SRTV, he's someone that's always willing to step up and help. We've thrown so many jobs at him. He's always cameraman, floor director, or just whatever we need, he's always willing to step up and do that job that day. So I know in the future, Mike, whatever's thrown at you, you will be able to handle it. If it's being the boom operator of a crazy soap opera or just being the cameraman for whatever show or news, I know you'll be able to handle that job. So good luck. Joyce Hills has been the club's president since January 2019 and took office when Chris and I were elected to our current posts. She has moved this club forward and has led many ambitious projects, including two full-length television series. Her creativity and imagination have left an indelible mark on this club, and I know that she'll go on to do wonderful things in the future. Joyce, thank you for everything. It has been a true pleasure working alongside you since you've come to St. Rose. Graduate Eileen Burke wrote this newscast for a year and lent her acting talent to multiple SRTV projects, which last night culminated in her winning Best Actress at the SRTV Film Festival. She also was a fixture to campus theater productions such as Vanya, Sonia Masha and Spike, Songs for a New World, and Fun Home, and to the Chronicle where she served as executive editor in the fall, completing various groundbreaking journalistic reports. Eileen defines all that she does and inspires everyone who knows her with passion, hope, and care. We're so grateful for everything she has given. We here at St. Rose as a community and for the endless talented, warm and giving person that she is. 
Aileen, thanks for what you have done for St. Rose and best of luck as you return to the college in the fall for your MSW. And finally, to my longtime co-anchor, Leanne DiMartino. She joined me on the Anchor Desk three years ago now. And from our Halloween specials to the finales to all of those shows in between, Leanne, it's been a true pleasure to anchor this newscast with you each week. Outside of the studio, Leanne has completed two internships and hopes to become a photographer in her future. Leanne, thank you for all of the wonderful memories in our time here together since our first class with Com 105 and Paul Conti. It's been a wonderful time, and I wish you all the best. David Meister has spent his four years at the college serving the communications department in his role as sports editor and co-executive editor for The Chronicle, as well as anchor on the nightly news and vice president for St. Rose Television. He has also completed two prestigious internships at News 10 ABC and Spectrum News Albany. David is a devoted student and professional who has greatly advanced the development of his peers. Thanks for everything, David. You have always been a great friend, not just to me, but everyone in this club. And I know you will do great in anything you put your mind to, if that's being a, a news producer, television producer, or even as a news anchor one day. I know you'll do great, bud. To the viewers at home, thanks for watching. For the last time, I'm Leanne DiMartino. And I'm David Meister. For more information on any of our stories, take a look at the Chronicle, the St. Rose newspaper, both in print and online. Have a great summer, everyone. May the fourth be with you, and have a great summer, everybody.